Kamusta po kayo? Welcome to our daily devotions and as we go back to our devotions and yes, we are going to be going back to James. Verse 11 naman po ngayon. So let me read to you from verse 9. This is the new section, remember? And so let me read to you starting from verse 9, James 1, 9 to 11. Let the lowly brother boast in his exaltation and the rich in his humiliation because like a flower of the grass he will pass away. Verse 11. For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the grass. Its flowers falls, its flower falls, and its beauty perishes. So also will the rich man fade away in the midst of his pursuits. And so today, ang title ng devotion natin is Burned Up. Burned Up. Again, I'm gonna be trying to speak uh, louder because of uh, me not having my mic around. So Burned Up ang title ng ating devotion today. And this is what we read from Dr. MacArthur's uh, devotional. Wealthy people usually do not realize they can take their riches with them. Right? Sabi ngayon dito, karamihan daw ng mga wealthy people. I mean, not all, but most. Sabi ngayon, especially uh, those who do not have Christ, they, can't, they do not realize that they can't take their riches with them. Only those who have been humbled before God know that life is a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away those who just got th those who are who are rich who are true and genuine born again believers sila nakakaalam nun ba as i've mentioned yesterday yesterday nga ba or yesterday that i know of someone from cdo i mean i i, I know he's watching and i'm pretty sure he knows that i'm uh, i'm talking about him but i'm not gonna be, men be mentioning him uh, he knows that hindi niya pwedeng dalin sa kabilang buhay yung kanyang kayamanan at uh, he's really rich but he's very humble because he was humbled by God and, and and he got born again and so ang kanyang kayamanan ay opportunities niya para papurin ang Diyos, right? So, those uh, who do not have Christ, they do not realize that they can't take their wealth and riches with them but those who got born again, those who realize those who are humbled before God, they know that these riches are just but vapor. They are here now and then they vanish away. In today's verse, James writes about the blooming grasses and waters and flowers of Palestine that flourish with beautiful color in February and dry up and dry up by May. So yung yung pinapatungkulan daw pala na illustration ni, ni James dito sa uh, passage na ito, he is referring to, he is probably referring to a flower known to Palestine na, na, na magandang maganda, beautiful in color, they, they bloom in February and dry up by May. Dry March, April, May. So, apat na buwan lang. Right? James also ba borrows part of his illustration from Isaiah 40, 6 to 8. The burning heat, which could refer to the scorching wind, known as Sirocco, destroys the vegetation in its path. It is illustrative of the fury of death and divine judgment that put an end to, to the rich man's earthly life and his material possessions. So, yung image na ginamit dito ay, ay napaka uh, profound na imagery. Talking about um, flower, talking about scorching heat, right? When the rich man's possessions are burned up, he will have the true riches. Just as the poor man does, when everything is said and done, the great equalizer is death. The rich and the poor, we will all die. Diba? And then we would face God in judgment. So, sabi ng dito, when everything is said and done, the rich man's possessions are burned up, he will have the true riches. Especially, diba, when we're talking about believers here. The poor believers and the rich believers, they would have their true riches. If you are wealthy, make sure you have a true spirit of humility and don't trust in the possessions of life. This is a reminder for those of us who may be rich. Again, hindi nyo kasalanan kung mayaman kayo. Right? Uh, if you're a hard worker, but I pray that you would see that everything that we have is from God. Uh, yung skills ninyo, yung talino ninyo, galing sa Diyos yan. And um, I pray that you would um, use uh, the blessings that God has blessed you with 
to be a blessing, especially to, for the gospel sake, for the gospel uh, ministry. And um, kasi dahil ang kayaman natin, we can't bring that with us uh, when we die. And when they burn up, the, the, they fade away when we all die. The rich and the poor believers would have the same riches. Hindi mas mayaman yung may yaman sa lupa, sa langit. At hindi naman mahirap din ang mahirap sa lupa, sa langit. We would all be enjoying the true riches. True riches uh, na hindi pwede ikumpara sa kahit anong kayamanan sa lupa. Alright, so this is indeed a beautiful reminder for all of us. And I think uh, we saw the, the pattern there, no? If we go through difficulties, trials of various kinds, consider it pure joy, right? Um, bakit? It would produce perseverance. It would produce um, uh, strengthened faith, tested faith. And when we can understand and they, they will come, and they will happen because of our frailty, we can always go back to God and ask Him for wisdom for us to understand. And, and again, understanding doesn't come out of a vacuum. Lagi yan nakukuha sa salita ng Diyos. We cannot just say, Lord, give me understanding, tapos hindi ka nagawa sa ng Bible. Right? We, we go to scripture and, and ask God for wisdom and so that we would be able to um, see and understand. Uh, hindi tayo parang um, nararab ng joy because we know oh, God caused everything to work together for good to them who are called according to His purpose. Di ba? At pag nanghingi tayo, dapat may pananampaltaya. Lord, alam ko po, bibigay niyo sa akin ang pangunawa and so that we would have joy. Anong klase ng joy? Sabi nga dito, uh, to the poor, you can rejoice in the exaltation that you have. Sa- salamat, Lord, sanday yan to. The, the hardships that I go through, they're just temporal. Rejoice the rich uh, in your humiliation. Knowing, Lord, yes, these things, they can't buy my, me salvation. They, they can't earn me my, my way to heaven. But thank you, Lord, for saving me. And and so, I would boast in that. I would rejoice in that. Right? Kasi alam natin, at the end of it all, the end of the age, believers, rich and poor alike, would be with Christ. Diba? And that would be the best blessing of all. No amount of hardships can drown that. No amount of wealth can outshine that. Diba? Ang galing talaga ng Panginoon Diyos sa ating um, pinag-aaralan, right? So, let's uh, praise the Lord for, for what He has taught us today. Nalangin po tayo. Lord, we thank You that indeed You are sovereign, You are in control, and in, in Your providential care, You have given us Your Word to go to, to study, to ponder, to study more, and be immersed in so that, Lord, when trials come our way, we would always go back to Scripture rightly interpreted and uh, obey you and be rejoicing in whatever situation that we're in and not be robbed of our joy. We thank you, Lord, that the poor can exult and rejoice in his exalted standing uh, and the poor and the rich, Lord, can rejoice in his understanding that his riches would never be enough uh, to, to save him from eternal damnation. Kaya salamat na maraming Panginoon Diyos sa inyong pong Ibanghelyo sa magandang balita ng tapos ng ginawa ni Christo Jesus. So we thank you again Lord for today. We pray that you'd be with all of us and uh, make us uh, testimonies of the gospel in the workplace, at home, in our in, in our community. Sa pangalan mo Jesus, ang dalangin. Amen at amen. Thanks for joining me and I hope you heard me. Uh, and yeah, see you all tomorrow. God bless you.